Hi everyone. Um, I don't know how well this is going to work because I have got a new camera and I have bought a mic so I don't know how it's going to sound. It might sound really scratchy but as long as it's not quiet like my other one, my uh, phone microphone. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to bond hamsters. I don't think I've done a video on that yet, um, so it would be really useful. So, when you first bring your hamster home, first things first, make sure you leave them to settle into their environment for at least 24 hours plus, um, just until they start getting more comfortable because it's a really stressful time when they move into a new environment because there's new smells, new voices, new surroundings, it's just everything's different. So I bonded with Reggie and Pumpkin. What I did was I I well I first started off with one minute. So I started off with just giving them a treat like that in between my fingers and then after they'd got confident with coming up to me for that I'd eventually go like that and let them climb onto my hand and then ever so slightly every time they get more confident keep moving it up Reggie isn't confident enough to come this far but he'll go about that far uh, whereas Pumpkin he just loves to sit in your hand, give your hand some kisses. Oh, he loves it. And then when you're quite confident with that, excuse me, when you're quite confident with that, you can try bathtub bonding or playpen bonding. With Reggie, I did bath bomb, bath bomb, bathtub bombing, <laughs> bathtub bonding. And um, what I did was I put a towel in the bath, lots of his toys and hides. Um, I put him in there and I sat at the far end. So if he wanted to come up to me, he could do. And he spent most of that time wiggling behind my back. So at least he wanted to be near me. And with Pumpkin, I put him in the playpen. Same thing, blank it down toys out, hides out, but it's, it's bigger so there was more distance between me and Pumpkin so after a while he started crawling on me and fun fact actually Pumpkin actually crawled on me before Reggie did bearing in mind by the time I got Pumpkin I'd had Reggie three months yeah, so he must have smelt the scent, he's like, a pumpkin can do it, why can't I? I'm being left out. Now, as you already know, different hamsters have different personalities. Um, I've got two on each of the very end of the spectrum. I've got Reggie, who is very timid, very jumpy, very anxious hamster. He doesn't reckon much to humans, unless they're feeding him. And then we have Pumpkin, who is very social with humans. Um, well, me. <laughs> he gets a bit nervous around other people, but if somebody else is talking and they approach his cage, he runs back to his hide. Where if I approach really slowly and just tell him it's me, and keep talking, he's he's fine, he's chill. Um, I actually picked him up the other day, um, properly. It only took me about three months. So I, I picked him up like that, he tried squiggling out as so I held him like that. And I had to give him a sniff because hamsters smell so nice. And he should... One main thing with hamsters is never force them 
to be social with you because it will just stress them out more. Um, like Reggie, I've never forced him. I've never really pushed to bond with either of them. Like the most I'd do is like sit in a play pan and give them treats hoping they'd walk on me. And um, there is a few times I've had to pick Reggie up but it wasn't scooping, it was just uh, the claw so he didn't have a chance to wiggle out. He tried but that was for health reasons because I had to keep checking his genital area. If you can remember the problems we had a few months ago, well, a few weeks ago. And, um, Pumpkin, now that I'm comfortable with him and he's comfortable with me, I will scoop him up. But I've never really forced it. I just thought if they want to do this, if they want to eat out my hand, if they want to go on my knees, climb on me, they'll do it on their own terms. So I think that's how everybody should be to minimise stress. I'm just trying to keep waffling to try and get you a decent length video, but my mind is so blank right now. Look at the, the image quality on this. Oh my god, you've got all my imperfections in. <gasps> Is the only way you've got like a soft mode on this because Jesus Christ you can see all my moles and freckles. Can you see my um oh yeah you can see my crusty nose. <laughs> At least I now get good pictures of the hamsters. I think by the time I've uploaded this they'll be up, but I'm putting some on Instagram today, any minute now. What I took last night and oh, There'll be even better pictures in the playpen, but I thought I'd do some trial pictures with the boys. I know, oh my god, it's so good. But I'm just hoping this microphone works and picks me up, please. And if the audio quality is bad, I am gonna cry, but you're still gonna get this video. Um, what else can I mention about bonding? Yeah, like I said, some hamsters will never be tame. They will never bond with you, but that's not the point of having hamsters, is it? It's just like, well, for me, it's the responsibility of looking after something, um, a living thing. So it's it just gives me purpose. So Reggie being antisocial doesn't bother me because he's still really cute and he thinks he's a model, he loves the camera and Pumpkin's like emotional support. <laughs> it was like the first time I picked him up, Pumpkin, was when I was having a really bad day and I think he must have sensed it cause, because he was like, oh, my human is in a time of need. Let's just give her a little bit of cuteness and so on. <laughs> So yeah, I think I will end it here. If you did enjoy this video, leave a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and go and check out my playlists. Goodbye.